Hello guys and welcome to another video. This is exactly what you just saw. It's a 31,000 HP Barbara and today we're gonna see how much healing does that actually turn into. So here's my Barbara. She's level 80 with a level 80 weapon. It's still not max. She's gonna get a little bit of percentage there from the six levels, but for now, honestly, let's be real. I know you guys have that level 50 slash level 60 Barbara, even though your character is level 70 or level 80. We all know that happens. Why? Because she's a good enough healer to actually heal a bunch without level. But she actually starts healing some pretty redonkulous amounts once you actually invest into her. So basically her weapon is kept to, to 80, but not really leveled. And her artifacts are juicy goodness. As you can see here, her artifacts are all from the set that uh, increase the healing effectiveness and then uh, when you're using an ele elemental skill or skill burst, increases the healing received to the party members by 20%. So it's basically the full set that you need to make a healer in this game heal like a beast. And her main stats are going to be pretty good. Uh, honestly, her weapon I didn't really go for because I didn't get a uh, weapon that was good enough uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, of getting HP stats and stuff like that, but the rest is all upgraded to get the most HP possible. Some of the pieces have energy recharge. Uh, all the pieces on the uh, hourglass, uh, goblet, and uh, the mask, all of them are HP percentage, and some of them have defense percent on the uh, on the subs, and some of them, like this one, have effect resistance because you do need some of that to get your uh, your ulti back up. So this is basically Barbara. So let's see how much she actually heals once you're talking about a Barbara with 31,000 HP. I do need to say that my talents are not upgraded. The only upgraded talents that she has comes from Constellation. So the healing increase that she would get here is actually pretty significant. Actually, let me check if I have some materials for this. I actually have a bunch of materials for this, but this these ones I actually need for other characters as well, so we won't do it. But as you can see, leveling up these talents will increase the healing either on the E and also on the Q. So if you really want to like, you know, full HP someone uh, or just run her solo in a co-op and be the, the, the healing pot, uh, yes, you want to you wanna upgrade these talents. But for me, talents are very, very resin hungry. Uh, it's a very hung resin hungry part of the game, so I'm not going to do it. So let's get into the me jumping off a cliff with a character and full healing him with my ulti. So here we are, we're on top of a tower that we don't really need to use a cliff. I think this is high enough to actually like kill someone if you don't really parachute or, or not parachute, if you don't glide. I'm pretty sure this is high enough, right? Pretty sure, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much high enough. So uh, guys, uh, enter suicide uh, <laughs> message, don't commit suicide, it's dumb. All right, <laughs> we're, we're gonna go into Katsing. As you can see, my Katsing has uh, 21,500 HP, so she's gonna get completely dead here. There she is. She's completely... Have I told you about Barbara being maxed? <laughs> Maybe I forgot to mention, but her last uh, constellation is every time someone dies, every 15 minutes, it, goes, it comes back to life with 100% HP, and that's what happened there, so I'm gonna have to commit suicide twice. Here we go, suicide take two, because Barbara is so good that she doesn't let you die. <laughs> right. Here we go, we die here, uh, and now all we gotta do is pop one of these, uh, and as we can see, her HP is 550 now. So it's basically her max HP now to heal, to get fully healed, is uh, 21,000. So all we have to do is go on Barbara, okay, and we're gonna pop this. And as you can see, she's at 15,000 HP now. <laughs> That's how much he, this heals without talents. I'm pretty sure if she was talented up, uh, it would heal her to full, no doubt. But, uh, this is how ridiculous uh, Barbara can be, and honestly, this is not even the most ridiculous part of Barbara. Barbara, every time you pop your E, and you basic attack units, this heals your team, okay? So I'm gonna grab a friend from a Discord called Bean, and uh, we're gonna go into a dungeon, and uh, I'm gonna use her in a very good dungeon where she really just excels, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how much healing can you expect from this E ability that she has. Okay, here we are. We're here with our friend Bean on a co-op world. We're doing the level 40 AR for the Geo uh, set uh, domain, okay? So this domain has this thing where if you overload the enemy, it does damage, but if you melt them or vaporize them, you get a smite on you. So basically, you get a thunder on yourself, uh, which will do a lot of damage. So normally, you don't want to fight the first uh, minion because the first minion has uh, a fire shield. So if you hit it with water, you basically die. Trust me, I've done it tons of times with my Mona. Mona gets insta-killed in like five lightnings, okay? So basically, 
that's it. So <laughs> say hello to Bean, by the way, in the comments. He's, he was friendly enough to, to let me join his world so I can uh, showcase this off. And yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do when I get to that, th that little monster, I'm gonna vaporize the crap out of him. I'm gonna actually teach you some tricks how to deal with the fire mage barrier as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna solo it because normally a water unit would instantly die to it, but she heals so much that she's actually gonna be able to survive. All right, here we go, here's the mage guy. So as you can see, if I just attack him, look at the amount of damage I'm gonna take, okay? I take a lot of damage here, all right? So as you can see, I'm low, but now I put this up, and you'll see that I heal so much just from the regular attacks. Look, 2,000 there. Every time I do a charge attack, it heals for 2,000. I basically cannot die to this guy. So she basically becomes a juggernaut. Look at the amount of healing you get here, even with the Vipper Eyes. So the next trick I have to teach you with this guy uh, that I won't be able to show you on this one, but I'll show on the next. If you use Barbara, okay, against this guy, you can put this up, stay close to him, and it's gonna trigger so many wets. Look, 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 look at the permawet on him. So this is the fastest way to actually break this guy's shield. You just get close, you spam basic attacks on him while you have this, this Oriet that, that makes you that makes you wet, and that's basically it. So as you can see here. We're gonna go into the next phase and uh, I'm gonna showcase the healing that you can provide to your teammates. Actually, this is perfect. We, let, we, we allowed him to get his barrier back. Look how, how, how fast we can take his barrier out. Where is he? Here it is, look. Look at the vaporize we can do. As long as you dodge around him, you can break his shield super, super fast. And look, look at, look at uh, his character, he's almost dead. And our teammate is full health now. And honestly, as long as we keep spamming our basic attacks, no one in your party is actually gonna die here. So this is the great thing about uh, Barbara. She just keeps your team fully healed. And at the same time, she's gonna be a tank, a massive, massive tank. So that's gonna be the cool thing. Even if you take vaporize damage, look, which is 3,000, you put this up, you instantly heal for 3,000, and then you, as you spam attacks, it goes 500, 400, 500, 400, and everyone's full HP in the team, basically. Like, there's no more healing I can do. There you go, see? That much healing is it's super hard to it's super super hard to achieve on any other character. So even though she, her main role it really is just to heal, uh, at the same time because she she provides the water uh, effect against fire mages and other units that you need to you know water up to to freeze, she's actually really really good for those as well. So enough of the showcase. Let's talk about uh, a bit more about her. So that's basically it. Uh, honestly. The only other thing I have to say about Barbara is that she's an extremely useful unit, mostly because she can carry a weapon that really, really helps you in this game, which is going to be the three-star weapon called Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. This weapon will have a substat for HP, which helps to get her tank tankier and heal more, and she'll also provide 40% attack buff to whoever you swap from her to. So basically, if I want my Katsing to have a attack buff, I can just go into Barbara, go back to Katsing, and then that's gonna provide her an attack buff, and I can actually showcase. You're gonna see that I'm gonna go into my Katsing, and she's gonna get this arrows up, which is basically her uh, attack buff, and that's gonna mean that she's gonna have for 10 seconds, not what I meant to click, <laughs> It's gonna mean that for 10 seconds, uh, Katsing is gonna get an attack buff, uh, and that's just really good, because it not only helps your DPS with this attack buff, she also provides the E, because that goes between characters, so if I press my E here, and I go to someone else, it's also gonna stay there, and it's gonna heal them. Of course, it's not gonna heal them with their own basic attacks, that only works for Barbara, but it still heals over time, so it's, it's a little bit of a help, and also makes the enemy wet, but you need to be careful that because it makes you, you wet as well. And uh, if you're going against ice characters, you're going to get free frozen a lot. And that's basically it. basically it. Is she worth building completely? Of course she is. If you are at AR45, I'm currently at AR46, uh, close to 47. Uh, I am currently at a stage where I need to take Barbara in some of the domain runs that I do, just because not only is she very good at dealing with the uh, fire mages to you know burn down their shield, for example, on the domain, for where you farm for physical damage uh, gear, which is this one. I might, might as well actually show you which one I'm talking about. If you're farming this one, which is the clear pool uh, and mountain cavern, this one will have three mages. The fire mage is the most annoying to deal with, but if you have Barbara, you just put that E up, get close to, to him, and it legit, it's gonna, it's gonna be super fast, and you're gonna burn through that shield super, super fast. So yeah guys, that's basically it. She's really, really worth, worth it to build. Uh, even though she's a full DPS, she provides that extra wet uh, unit that can make you just super, super good. 
I just realized how that sounded, wink wink, but yeah, she applies wet very very well and uh, yeah, you can combo her with ice units to make your enemy uh, frozen for a long time because that E is transferable for all units, so it's re just really easy to, to apply wet and uh, she just heals like a like it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. The amount of healing that she, this character provides is makes it 100% worth it building even past level 60 because I know most people do that because I did it. And uh, let me tell you, maxing her out is gonna be very, very good for you in the future because those domains get really hard. And even if you do a four man domain, Providing healing is going to be such a comfort uh, thing because no one wants to worry about stopping and eating food and no one wants to try hard so much that they have to dodge every single ability to be able to clear a domain. With her, everyone can play like potatoes and uh, it's it's going to be okay because she will carry those heals and uh, as long as you intertwine your E's with your Q's, you're always going to keep your, your team full HP and it's going to be insane. So that's basically it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, yeah, just uh, again, Go in the comments and say uh, hello, Bean, and hello. That guy uh, helped me a lot doing this. So, yeah, that's it. See you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.